Yo, welcome back to my channel, everybody. <laughs> Love you guys so much. Please comment, share, like, subscribe. If any of this is resonating for you today, love all my subs. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much for sticking with me, guys. Love you guys so much. I can feel the love. <laughs> um, yeah, dude, so many amazing messages. Um, bro, remember before I left Germany? <laughs> um, we heard that song and it was the Disturb song the light well it's making a lot more sense now um that song is i don't know i mean it's cool i guess but um it pretty much says you know sometimes darkness can show you the light which i think a lot of you are going through right now um there's that contrast okay um you need to be mindful of your thoughts and the people you surround yourself with um and there are evil spirits trying to throw you off your game bro um, but you need that contrast, okay? All of the bad things that happen to you, uh, bad relationships, things like that. Um, you know, it, help, it helps to show you the light. Okay, I think you guys are getting that. Um, and I'll show you why. <laughs> um, with the scripture I was guided to read today. It was actually on my Bible app, but it was very appropriate. Just with the messages I was getting today, okay? Um, I just want to say, walk away. Don't turn around. Don't look back. Don't look back, bro. <laughs> Don't look back. Um, and yeah, just just with the upcoming events, guys, um, I'm praying for everybody. Um, but yeah, like I said, have water, have a go bag ready, have a plan, okay? Um, yeah, and call on his name and you will be safe. Okay, I'm supposed to say that. Yeah. Um, and don't be afraid. Don't be afraid, okay? Um, everything through God and God is in control. Okay. Always is. Always has been. Always will be. <laughs> okay. Love you guys. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm supposed to read John chapter eight. The some real is, remember I was talking about adultery? John chapter eight. An adulteress faces the light of the world. I can't make this stuff up if I try, bro. <laughs> I just cannot. <laughs> All right. Um, and... Here we go. And everyone went to his own house, but Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning, he came again into the temple and all the people came to him and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses and the law commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him, that they might they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Don't be sinning no more. <laughs> All right? <laughs> Um, then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. Hello. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you're going to turn back to the BS, you're going to get the BS. <laughs> All right. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is convicting us, bro. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. All right. Peace be with you. Move about your day. If you goofed, fix it. Okay? If you don't want to fix it, you will suffer and you will die. That's not a threat. That's a promise. Okay? God is not playing. I told you. God is not playing. Yeah. If you want eternal life, you best be walking the walk. Like I've been saying this whole time, bro. Hello? <laughs> is this thing on? Good Lord in heaven. <laughs> Sorry, guys, but this needs to go out. Like, dude, <laughs> come on. <laughs> 
yeah. But most of you <laughs> are doing the right thing and walking the walk and turning away. Like I said, don't look back. Um, keep going forward, okay? Yeah, don't look behind you. Yeah, if they're not gonna change, peace be with you. Move about your day, all right? So I am supposed to read this poem by Andre Bosnesensky. It's called My Friend's Light. It says, I'm waiting for my friend. The gate's unlocked. The banisters are lit some, so he can walk. I'm waiting for my friend. The times are dull and tough. Anticipation lightens our life. He's driving down the ring road at full speed the way I did it when he was in need. He will arrive to find the spot at once. The pine is lit well in advance. There is a dog. His eyes are phosphorescent. Are you a friend? I see you're not complacent. Some headlights rush the darkness off the drive. My friend is to arrive. I think that said push. Anyways. <laughs> he said that he would come at nine or so. People are watching a TV show. Should animosity drop in, I'll turn it out. I'll wait around. Months, years go by, but Herman's not in sight. The whole of nature is cut off from light. I'll see my friend in hell or paradise alive. I have been waiting for him all my life. He said he'd come at nine or so today. God save him while he's on his way. <laughs> so beautiful, guys. Oh my gosh, I love it. Um, yeah, pretty short day today. I'm going to go out to dinner. Um, but I love you guys so much. Please just uh, keep each other in your prayers. Please be doing the right thing, guys. Please, please, please. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we don't have much time. <laughs> we really don't. Um, yeah, it's going to get pretty gnarly, bro. <laughs> it's going to get pretty gnarly, but we need to keep that faith, okay? We need to keep that faith in Jesus, okay? Love you guys so much, and I will see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.